Looking for a powerful photo editor that doesn't break the bank, or even require a download? Meet Photopea, but is it really the best free Photoshop alternative out there? Let's break down the pros and cons so you know exactly what you're getting into. Photopea is a free web-based image editor that runs directly in your browser. No installation needed. Think of it as a Photoshop clone that speaks PSD, XCF, Sketch, and more. First and most obvious, it's free. No subscriptions, no upfront costs. You can access advanced editing tools without spending a dime. Since it's browser-based, there's no need to install anything. That's perfect if you're working on a shared or low-spec computer. Need to open a Photoshop or Sketch file in a pinch? Photopea handles it seamlessly. That's huge for cross-platform workflows or last-minute edits. If you've used Photoshop before, you'll feel right at home. The interface is incredibly similar. Layers, masks, blend modes, all in familiar places. Believe it or not, Photopea can work offline after it's been loaded. Just don't close the tab, and you're good to go. Yep, it's free, but that comes with ads. If you want to remove them, you'll need to pay for the premium version. The ads aren't too invasive, but they can get annoying. Because it runs in a browser, performance depends on your internet connection and your computer's RAM. Large files can slow things down fast. Photopea does a lot, but not everything. Don't expect it to handle heavy-duty 3D effects, advanced filters, or certain plugins like Photoshop can. Sometimes tools feel a bit clunky or buggy, especially on smaller screens or lower-end devices. If you're a student, hobbyist, or someone who needs occasional editing without the Adobe price tag, Photopea is a gem. But for professionals needing heavy workflows, it might fall short. So, is Photopea worth it? If you're looking for Photoshop-level tools without the Photoshop-level cost, it's absolutely worth checking out. Have you used Photopea? What do you think? Photoshop killer or just a backup tool? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech and design reviews.